this advanced text morphing animation is done in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. So right now I'm in After Effects and first we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main. Width the night will be 19, 20 by 1080. Frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. So first we are going to create the effect that will drive our animation. So for that let's create a solid and I'm going to make this completely white. Just click on OK. And on top of this we are going to apply an effect called circle. So just search for circle and over here we have this circle under generate perfect so we can animate this by using this radius so let's just start it from zero let's add a keyframe now let's press u let's go to somewhere around two seconds and i'm going to like increase this all the way something like that so that it covers the entire screen also we can have a little bit of feathering by simply selecting this and i'm going to set this to like 250 something or oh, let's set this to 230 yeah, i think this looks good perfect after that i'm going to search for another effect called fractal noise let's drag it over here and we're going to change this from basics to dynamic twist and also i'm going to like change one more thing you will notice that if i uncheck this you can see that it is currently occurring on the transparent background but we can fix that by simply selecting this to normal like that because we're going to like change other properties in order to give the effect so after that let's change this to spline as well now you can increase the contrast i'm going to like set this to 200 like that so let, let's like drag the brightness a little bit down and rest of the things will remain same also i'm going to like play around with the evolution so we don't want this to like stay still so for that you can add a keyframe let's select this press u let's move like a couple of frames ahead and after that just like increase this up like that so now if i press play you can see we have this evolution perfect now in order to make the this fractal noise appear from the circle we can change the blending mode to overlay like that we are not able to see anything because the background color and the color of the circle is both white so i can just set this to like black so here you can see we are able to see the effect now we can invert this by simply clicking on this so we basically want this to be like completely black and after that we can have this so in the beginning you can see this is not completely black so for that you can like turn down the radius so i'm going to like decrease this a little bit something like that so that it's completely black now if i press play you can see we have this animation perfect so right now you can see we don't have any transparent background if i click over here it's just black and white now if you want to use it as a track mat then you can just simply search for shift channels and let's drag it over here after that you can change the take alpha from let's set this to luminance and now if i click over here you can see that it will make it transparent now you can use it as a tra track mat as well but if you want you can like use it as a luma mat anyways if you don't want to use this and let's just keep it over here and after that we can search for curves let's drag it over here now you can play around with the alpha if you're using the this alpha mat then you can play around with this and you can like change it to however you want if i press play you can see we have this but again if you are playing with the luma mat let's just turn this off then you can play around with the rgb curves like this so both of these will work same so i'm going to like use this instead you can probably like turn this on as well just to make this like a little bit softer Perfect. So here we have our animation driver. Now we are ready to use it. So before we continue, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's continue. Now we can add our text layer. So select the text tool, just click and you can type whatever you want. I'm going to type motion. Let's set this to the middle. I'm using this Montserrat black font. It's completely up to you. You can use whatever you want. Hold on control key. Click on this. Make it bigger. Let's press S. Something like that. Now we can like just place it over here. Now we are going to change its track mat. So I'm going to like just pick whip and select this. And you will be able to see the text as it is moving. Now you can use the luma mat as well. Like that. 
Perfect. Now, you, if you are using the older versions of After Effects, then you won't have this pick whip or these drop down. Instead, you will have Alpha Matte, Luma Matte. Then you will have to like place this layer on top of the text layer. Then just change it over. Here. Otherwise, just update the After Effects and you can use it like this. So here we have our first text. Now we can add one more text by simply selecting this. Press Ctrl D to duplicate this. Now over here, we can type our second text. So let's type graphics or nations, whatever you want. Let's type nations. So that the text are very similar and you can see that both of these are like going away but we can change one of these by simply clicking on here to make it like luma mat like that so here you can see we have this animation now if you want you can play around with this to make it smoother you can like move it away now the animation will be a little bit smoother in order to add like more effect to this we can have some displacement map so let's search for displacement map and let's drag it on to this layer and over here we are going to change this to this white solid which we have over here also we are going to select the source effects and mask now we can probably change these to luminous and vertical displacement we don't want any so i'm going to set this to zero but we can have some horizontal displacement like this so if I go over here, you can see we are able to see some displacement. Again, it's completely up to you. You can like pick this direction on that one. Let's set this to 45 and we can just simply copy this and let's select the text layer, which is at the bottom and just paste it. And onto this one, we can like set this to negative 45 so that we have the effect like driving in both the directions. Perfect. Now you will notice one more thing that the position of the text has changed after the transition so we can fix that by simply applying a transform effect let's drag it over here let's select this motion text which is this one so you can see that its position is like in the center but you can see that this one it has changed which is the nation so we can again apply a transform on to this and we can like just move it to this side so now it will be in the center now if i press play you can see we have this animation and we have the text appearing now we can add some colors to this by simply selecting all of these layers let's right click pre-compose and call this animation just click on ok and now we are going to select this press ctrl d and on the bottom one we can apply fill let's drag it over here now we can like move this little bit ahead like this and we can change its color to whatever you want again it's completely up to you like this now we can play around with the timing so let's just move this little bit ahead the more distance you have the more color you will get like this but we don't want like this much of distance so i think this is good so we can like trim this layer and we can like move it to this point now if you want you can have some glow on to the bottom layer as well which is this color one let's search for glow and let's drag it over here and we can play around with this so let's just increase this little bit and i'm going to like decrease this something like that perfect so here we have our text and here we have our animation also you can make two text appear instead of like morphing so for that you can just simply remove the this luma mat and after that just place them one top of each other like that so if I press play, you can see now these are appearing. Now you will notice that we have this nation text and we have this motion. Now the motion one is like a little bit off. So we can like play around with it as well. So the best thing is to like duplicate this layer and let's just place it on top and let's just remove all the effects and just simply align it wherever you think. Let's apply fill. We are just doing it to like have a little bit of sense where we have to like place the text. We have this text and currently it's on the other side. So we can like just place it over here. Now we can get rid of this one. Now, if I press play, you can see we have these two text appearing. And if I go back, you can see all the other animations are already applied. Perfect. Let's add a quick background. So right click new, let's add a solid and just click on OK. On this one, let's apply four color gradient. Let's set this to black and this to black as well. This we can like keep it little bit of this sort of color. 
perfect after that we can place one over here this one we can like place it like this and let's just move it far away like that let's move it far away as well perfect so here we have the background let's place it over here and you can play around with this color perfect so here we have our background and we have all the animations now if i press play you can see we have this text morphing animation now if you think that this is like giving a little bit of too blue sort of look then you can like play around with the opacity let's add a keyframe while this is being animated so somewhere around here we can have and at this point we can set this to zero like that perfect so this is how you can create these text morphing or these text revealing animation in after effects using this method i hope you enjoyed this one and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Bye.